How about today for a change of pace? We go down to the Rio Grande Valley. Yes, let's go to the Rio Grande Valley, they said. Why are we going to the Rio Grande Valley? Well, specifically, we're going to Harlingen and Texas, and even more specifically, La Feria, Texas. That's where our Harlingen terminal is. But I'm working extra, even though I don't really like to work too much extra. Next Saturday, I'm going to be off. I got a personal day I'm taking. Got some things I need to do around the house and take care of my youngest while my wife does some other things. So I'm only going to work four days next week. So I should be able to have the energy to, to work an extra day this week and get a little bit of extra money. So as for it, got it came up with the Harlingen today. They covered my run. And I left uh, Dallas about 8.15 this morning and got here about 3.30 in Kingsville, Texas for my eight-hour break. Not eight-hour, 30-minute break. Not ready. No more eight-hour breaks. A 30-minute break here in Kingsville. So we're here. Got about 15 minutes left. So anyway, coming down here, there's two ways to go out of Dallas to get this way. You can go 35W out of the Dallas terminal, or you can go 35E. The map shows 35E. It's a little shorter, a little bit less time. But man, there's lots of construction from Waxahachie all the way almost to Austin. There's a lot of construction, especially there in Waco. It was the worst. I haven't seen it that bad in a long time. But go down through Waxahachie, uh, Italy, Texas. Did you know there was Italy in Texas? And then Carl's Corner, Texas. Anybody remember Carl's Corner from years ago? where a guy named Carl bought this corner of land. Actually, I think he uh, made a municipality out of it. It actually is some kind of a city, or was. And there was an old truck stop there. I, I can't remember if he built it or if he just refurbished it. And it was something else. There was like a dance hall, bar, all sorts of things. And then Willie Nelson actually bought it and had his uh, farm aid concerts out there right near the truck stop for a long time. And, uh, but nowadays it's just another Petro. So I don't think, I'm not even sure if old Carl's still alive. That was back, way back when. But that's Carl's Corner just north of Hillsboro. Just there at the split, 35W, 35E. Then I got down here into Temple, or through Waco. That's where all that construction was. See Waco, McLean Stadium there for the Baylor Bears. Uh, I actually worked for McLean's Food Service at one time years ago. But anyway, through there into Temple, that's where I worked for McLean's at. I lived in Temple for a number of years back in the early 90s before I moved back up to the DFW area. And then down through Austin. Yeah, Austin. It's a mess down there. I thought I got through town all right. I was making it through, I only slowed down to about 40, 45 miles an hour. Got to the south side and they were doing a little bit of construction. They had one lane closed. Took me 15, 20 minutes to get through that. <laughs> That's where the backup was. It didn't want any faster to go around that toll road. If I could go 80 miles an hour like the speed limit does on that toll road, maybe it would be faster, but can't do it. And they do, really don't want us to pay the toll on that toll road for some reason. They want us to call before we use it. Only like if it's shut down downtown or whatever. But so I don't, it didn't make that much difference on the time. So anyway, got out of Austin, made it down past the scale house in San Marcos. I haven't been down that way in a long time. It looked, it was closed and it looked like it had been closed for a while. They had barricades up. I'm not sure what they're doing with it. Maybe some of you guys that run down this way can tell me. But then through San Antonio, I-35 to 410 to I-37, then just north of Corpus Christi, you get off on 77, which is actually Interstate 69 now, I believe. And I'm here in Kingsville. Got a couple hours left to go. So let's get on down the road. The brakes should be about up. Get down there to Harlingen. I'll show you a little bit of that terminal if I can, if it's not too dark by the time I get there. So let's go. Okay, we got off the exit off of 
Highway 83, which is actually now Interstate 2. In here to the terminal, it's a smaller terminal. Uh, if I remember years ago, they were in a really raggedy place, and this is a little bit better. And they've recently, I think, in the last few years, done the parking lot again. Got to get in here and turn off the alarm and open the gate. And it's usually not too crowded in here uh, on the weekends. They don't have a whole lot of freight in and out. They get to do their share, I guess, but... Mostly, I think they mostly haul freight to Houston and to Dallas and beyond is where their main line haul runs are out of here. They pick up, I guess, a fair amount of freight, but there's always empties here if you need them. So, got in here, line, dropped my rear, and then backed my dolly up, and then the, the lead trailer. Then we go over here. I like to go ahead and get my fuel when I get in that way in the morning, I don't have to do any of that. I can just get in there and get hooked up to what I'm pulling and get out of there. That's anywhere I go. Then we got out of there, came over here to the Texas Inn, spend the night, got in here fairly early. I know it's dark, but it's still only about 630, I guess it was when we got in here. So we're going to go in here talk to you in just a minute once we get settled in the room see ya hey y'all we are in Harlingen more accurately La Feria Texas uh, got down here got the trailers dropped got fuel the only thing I did was I haven't been down here in a few years they have an alarm on the gate now and I found out so I figured that out got it shut off all's good got my fuel back to the hotel Real basic hotel room. Probably tell it echoes a little bit. But it's rest basic, it's pretty clean. Good for one night. It's got a refrigerator that works. Microwave hopefully works. Anyway, we're gonna wake up in the morning, get back to Dallas. Sometimes they send us through Houston. It's just more miles. So we'll see you tomorrow.